Uh, my film's nominated for Best Documentary Short Subject, uh, the 88th Academy Awards. And what's the full title, please? The title of the film is Claude Lansman, mm -hmm. Spectres of the Shoah. How would you describe the film in a nutshell? Um, this is the first major documentary exploring the life and work of Claude Lansman, the 90-year-old author who created the masterpiece Shoah, a film which is now widely considered to be uh, the most important Holocaust film ever made and among the greatest documentaries ever made. Uh, my film explores the 12 years that he spent making his masterpiece uh, and the trials and tribulations that he faced. As a journalist yourself, how did you decide to become a filmmaker or had you been a filmmaker who was working as a journalist? Uh, this is my first film, uh, but I had met a number of journalists who had also made documentaries and that had given me a lot of confidence, uh, particularly the, the journalists uh, Sebastian Junger and David France, who respected, respectively made the films uh, Restrepo and How to Survive a Plague. Mm -hmm. uh, it seemed that um, being a good interviewer and having good research skills were, were skills that would set you in good stead. For, for making a documentary, and uh, the rest was surrounding myself with talented individuals who knew the things that I didn't. Mm -hmm. And how were you able to finance the production and editing of the film? Um, I initially self-financed the film. I kind of knew that making your first film uh, is 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 very difficult. It's very difficult to raise financing to do that, and I felt that if I uh, had to wait for the money, I would probably be waiting for a very long time. Not only that, but at the beginning, Claude Lansman was 85 years old, mm -hmm. so I didn't feel that I necessarily could wait all that long mm -hmm. uh, to make the film. So I put my own money into it, I invested heavily, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I paid to fly out a, a crew of uh, very talented Canadians to, to Paris to film with Claude Lansman. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, they all worked on a deferred salary basis, so None of them got paid until we made money. Uh, but I, I always had faith that there would be interest in this film, that, that, that he had a, a fascinating story uh, that the world should hear, and that, that if we could get his testimony on, on camera, if we could make a film about his life, that it would, that it would do well. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know, with, with the Academy Award nomination and with HBO buying the film, I, I, I hope that's, that's come true. Mm -hmm. Are you Jewish yourself? Uh, I'm not Jewish, no. Um, with the work that you do at the uh, Cannes Television and Monte Carlo Television c covering, uh, did you feel uh, any um, apprehension about making a film about a, a, um, a, a Jewish subject that uh, in France uh, today is uh, uh, sort of uh, 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 looked down upon because of the uh, anti-Semitic growing climate there? Well, I'm obviously very aware of, 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 of the growth of anti-Semitism, and we've seen the terrible attacks in France, the Charlie Hebdo attacks. Um, in terms of me being an outsider and approaching it as an outsider, um, it's certainly something I bear in mind, but it wasn't something that discouraged me. Mm -hmm. um, I think that a lot of great documentaries have been made by outsiders, whether it's uh, Asif Kapadia, who's not Brazilian, making a documentary about Brazilian racing driver with Senna, uh, or Steve James, who's not black, making two of the quintessential black documentaries, Hoop Dreams and uh, The Interrupters. Um, a great many you know, uh, outsiders often have a different perspective on things. Mm -hmm. um, but I, again, it goes back to the time sensitivity thing. Um, Jewish filmmakers have had 30 years to make a film about Claude Lansman and haven't. Mm -hmm. So for me, the question is really, why hadn't anybody made a film about this man? Mm -hmm. um, I didn't want to wait to find out. Mm -hmm. um, I just thought, again, that it was really important to find him and track him down and sit with him. And uh, the first question that he asked me was, are you Jewish? Mm -hmm. And I said, I'm, I'm not, you know, I have a... English mother and Algerian father mm -hmm. and uh, he said oh that's a good mix mm -hmm. so um, you know him not having a problem with it made me feel comfortable with it um, and really you know I had just a great deal of respect for him had done a great deal of research on him so mm -hmm. um, you know he's still an intimidating interviewee but mm -hmm. I didn't feel intimidated because I wasn't Jewish.